The Arizona Cardinals came into Lumen Field as the best road team in the NFL since the start of 2021, but they leave with a loss. Seattle coming out on top 19-9 against the division opponent. Satisfying win um, in, in terms of playing all together, everybody doing uh, doing their part, um, with the, the exception of the, uh, the punt block. Um, it was really a good ball game for us in a lot of ways, and, and uh, the balance was there and, and kind of responded to the situations. The game marked a turning point for the defense. The unit allowed just nine points, the fewest given up in a game this season. It looked good, didn't it? It looked real good. It felt good. It felt different, you know what I mean? So. I mean, I applaud to all the guys, you know what I mean? We came out and kind of came out with a purpose and understood what the mission was, and <clears throat> it was dope. You know, the D-line eight, you know, linebacker, secondary, everybody played play really well. You know, we still got some stuff we can clean up and get better, but at the end of the day, you know, um, you hold a team to three points, that first, the only score on, on us was the first drive when we trying to get settled down. So um, great effort from coaches and everything. So um, dope day. Just a bunch of brothers playing together. Like I said, we're starting to trust each other and just buy in to what uh, you know Coach Hay is trying to do with us. The pass rush helped to spark that effort. Six different Hawks recorded a sack. We stopped the run. That's really what it was. You know, uh, the last what was it four or five weeks, we had trouble stopping the run. You know, and that's what the game plan was going into this game: stop the run so we can have some fun. And we did that. And you know, guys was able to, as you guys saw all over the field, fly out the field, get after Kyler Murray. You know, keeping them in the pocket was going to be a big deal this game. He was able to do that, and not one, not two, not three, not four, but six different guys got a set, which is huge. The pass rush light, lights, lights up with the, the help of the crowd, and we get off the ball so well and, and all of that, and it really makes for a, a, the kind of heyday that those guys are looking for, you know. So um, that was true. And it, was, it, was, it wasn't any one guy. It was everybody, you know. It went six sacks by six different guys. And then there was Tariq Woolen. His interception in the fourth quarter made him the first player since Brandon Browner in 2011 to record an interception in four straight games. Just throughout the whole game, it was a, a quiet game. I'm just like, okay, like, is it a pass on come? And then I lined up against a tight end in the, in the situation it was in towards the end of the game, and I was just playing off. And that, I was like, okay, finally get some action. And um, on that play, I had got an interception. I seen that Kyler Murray and uh, Marquise Brown did a signal like this or something like that. And just knowing who Marquise Brown is and the situation it was, he he's going to have to go deep. So I just made sure I stayed on top the whole route. And shoot, I just made a play on the ball. I'm going to call it now. Like, he's going to be a Hall of Famer. You know, he's a walking gold jacket. Like, that boy came in since day one making plays. You know, I'm excited I get to play with him and see him right now. And I'm just excited to see what his future holds because he – He's going to get a gold jacket. Woolen and Kobe Bryant also teamed up on another Arizona turnover, with Bryant forcing a fumble and Woolen recovering. Special. You know, it's like seeing your little brother shine. You know, for me, it's those really like my little brothers. Like I, I've been super excited about both of them since the jump. So um, seeing them go out there and make the plays and, and bring it to life, and, you know, you can just watch it because I have a front row seat. I'm in the back just trying to control, which – I'm happy about being uh, being in the back, being able to see those guys and, you know, just letting those things go. So um, those guys are getting after it and they got to continue to do it. You know, we got 17 games, you know, we only week six. So um, when that turnover's come, they come in bunches. It's pretty cool because I remember when we first had got here, you know, Kobe was like, a, like he talked to you a little bit, but he didn't really talk as much. And it's like now it's just so easy to talk to each other and stuff like that. And it just shows, like, from, from the point I met him to now, it just shows how comfortable, you know, we start to get with each other. And when a person is comfortable with you off the field, it makes it easier on the field to just play like that because the chemistry there. The offense came up with a much needed touchdown drive in the fourth quarter, capped by a Kenneth Walker touchdown run. Ken Walker was was showed you how legit he is. He's, he's really a special runner, and he's he's going to have marvelous, miraculous runs. Uh, it's going to shock you with the things that he does. He's he's so laterally gifted in in, in breaking and and bursting and all that. Um, I thought that was great today. Noah Fant led all pass catchers with 45 yards, and D. Eskridge proved to be a threat. 
three receptions for 39 yards. Sometimes it's just about taking what they're giving you. Uh, their defense did a great job at, you know, bracketing DK and Tyler, and they had a great plan. And so we had to go to some other guys, and, and they stepped up. D. Eskridge, Marquise, Noah had a, a pretty good day. And then myself, you know, being a weapon as well, using my legs. And so uh, if teams continue to play us that style, um, which I expect, where they're, you know, playing off and bracketing our, you know, our receivers, uh, then that means there's no one covering me, you know, if I take off and run. There is no question there is some momentum behind the team heading into next week's game against the Chargers. You know, being at three and three, we're even, you know what I mean, um, in first place, um, which is cool, you know, but now it's time to start stacking these things week to week, you know. You can't be one of those teams, win one, lose one, win one, because that's, you know, that's average football. You know, we need to start stacking these dubs and um, being consistent. And, I mean, I think it's going to be – Really, really fun when, you know, offense, defense, and special teams are clicking at the same time. You know, I think, you know, it can be real special around here. Seattle improves to 3-3 three and three following a 19-9 win against the Cardinals.